Well, you know what? You can take home, Charlie. <laughs> or Duke. Yeah, I have Duke. You have Charlie. I so have why Charlie. don't we talk about Charlie first? Okay, Charlie is a silky terrier. And he is, oh, he's so sweet. He is eight months old. He's just 10 pounds, and he's going to stay about this size. He's very active. He is housebroken, so he needs somebody who has lots of energy, and he likes to take long walks and plays fetch and do all sorts of things. So if you have a lot of energy, then uh, you might want to, I don't want to play with Charlie. Yeah, you need a lot of energy for my little guy here, Duke, too. So Duke is four and a half months old. <laughs> usually do furry friend fighter. No, I'm kidding. He's adorable. <laughs> he is a four and a half month old Shih Tzu. Um, so he is a puppy. He does mm -hmm. need a lot of training. A lot of training. Um, he likes to play. Um, and and his, his previous owner just realized it's a lot of work to take care of a puppy yeah. and just couldn't do it. So that's why the Humane Society is trying to find an another loving family who's willing to take on the challenge. He is adorable. How lucky, Andrea, is it that he has a little red jacket on so you can hold him? <laughs> it's just like, it, oh, but a good thing about a good thing about Duke too is he doesn't shed, so that's oh, that a, is important. that's a, that's Very important to know. All right, so we do have a wonderful <laughs> furry friend update this morning. Yes. Bianca, look at Bianca, has a new forever home in New Jersey. The five-month-old Husky Collie mix has a new name. Her name is now Molly, and a new Beagle brother, Chester. Here they are with their parents, Barbara and Keith. Oh, thank you to Barbara and Keith yes. for taking her in, and we hope that there is another couple of families who can take in these two little guys. Definitely. Too. Now, Duke is the one who's been making the noise. So. Yes, he has. <laughs> Here he is. He really wants to go home with one of you, so we he hope does. if you can make them part of your home, uh, you can look up the Furry Friend Finder section on the Best of New York section of CBSNewYork.com.